Hey, what's up, everybody? Today is Monday. Uh, Veterans Day was actually yesterday, but you know, obviously, most people are off today. Um, so we want to celebrate uh, Veterans Day, but we have to be at work. So we're at work. Anyways, we have um, we have 85 yards of mulch being dropped today. Uh, we're at one of our properties. It's due for mulch, so. It's 200 yards of mulch go down here. Um, the guys are behind me. They should be here soon. We've got the dump truck. We have the Atlas. Um, we have a semi coming mid morning. They said hopefully it's soon. So what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go through the property and just check for any like big weeds or anything like that. There's just, there's little weeds here and there, man. It's just really a pain in the butt on this property because it's just always wet. Um, and it always rains out here and we've only had like less than two months the entire year where it has not rained out here total combined which is nothing so um doing a good job on controlling everything except man it's just sometimes like some of these beds are just sitting under water you know and then it's like oh why is there a weed in our beds like oh, it's because it's sitting under water man you know um but anyway doing a good job getting everything out of here there's still a few problem spots here or there, so we gotta work on that. They have skunk vine, and skunk vine is a nightmare. And in 13 years, I've never seen skunk vine on a property like this. We took it over. It was super, super, super bad. We've contained probably 95% of it. Um, and that stuff's just, you can't spray it with anything, really. I mean, you, you just have to pull it by hand. And so that's what we've been doing, like um, any chance we get. So we're going to work on that. The guys are gonna get here. I'm probably gonna have them hard edge it. It could use a mowing, but we're probably not going to mow it. We're just going to work on detail before we drop the straw. I mean, drop the uh, mulch. So, and it also makes it hard when you just have bare, um, when you just have bare dirt, you know what I mean? And there's no mulch, you know, keeping the beds clean of weeds. It doesn't make it any easier. So they're going to, they should be pulling up here any minute. We're going to get uh, a couple of guys on the edgers and a couple guys on weed eaters just tightening stuff up and a couple guys on pulling some vines and stuff all right all right all right tommy's gonna go back here yeah especially like around the back tommy's gonna do some more damage all right so the guys are here um, and what I have them going around doing is taking the weed eater bags and everything and they're just gonna do some detail work um, Just work on any little weeds or anything uh, That just looks bad. You know what I'm saying before we put all the mulch down Mulch is supposed to be here midday. Like I said, hopefully it does show up earlier than later At least we can get it dumped um, the place is big so we have them um, Drop it in at least two spots and sucks. We have to pay extra for that. But yeah, we have to pay extra for them to to move the truck and move the truck and drop it so this place kind of does like a big it's a big like rectangle so we're gonna have them drop it like down there and then another spot over there and then the next truck um, that comes in we're gonna have them drop it kind of you know wherever we can then we're gonna move the Atlas to move everything so we'll knock it out so yeah they're gonna hard edge um, touch up stuff with weed eaters and pull things by hand I got a question. Yeah. There's a driveway over there that had it got painted and all that. Right. They took all the tape down, but they said no mowers on the driveway. Do you want me to still edge it? Um, probably I'll stay away. It. Yeah, right. good job. Yeah, good deal. So as you guys can see on that Darwin's grip, um, the stance is just so much better. Um, this is about the fourth day Grant's used it, 
and he loves it as far as going straight you know like dude look how long i mean look how long these edge lines are okay i mean they wrap around they go that way they go way up there they go back i mean it's an i mean it's an intense amount of of edging to mow this property without stopping is about five straight hours on the skag and you guys know how fast the skag is so it's about five straight hours. All right, guys. So we have about 40, mowing on this 45 gag. yards right here. Um, we have the Atlas parked up here for now because it looks cool up there. <laughs> and literally, that's the only reason it's up there. Um, we had them drop um, about half of it right here, and then they went around the corner and they dropped the other half. Um, so we are going. The guys just went to lunch, and I'm really hoping it doesn't rain. Looks like it's about to pour. That's gonna suck if it does, man. Oh, it's gonna suck if it does. There's gonna be like red dye all over the place. So hopefully when they get back, we can at least, uh, at least start getting this punch down. Cause there's a lot of mulch, baby. A lot. <laughs> be really cool is if this had steak pockets in it <clears throat> which they probably sell something or make a kit for this I'll have to double check um, but it'd be cool is to add some more railing on here so we can fit some more product in the back of this Okay, so usually I use a front loader, a skid steer, and I spot drop it everywhere. This was actually Leah's idea to try it this way, and I think I'm already liking it this way. 
basically doing the same idea that we do with a skid loader. Um, instead of loading this up and then keeping it here to drive around the buildings and unload it, um, spot drop it in the typical sense, have them wheelbarrow it off the street. Um, that way we can just keep the piles going. It's just more efficient. So this is part one. I will, um, we'll keep going. We'll keep shooting everything and uh, show you guys some progress. I'll, I'll be back out there tomorrow with some extra guys. Uh, we'll do some more filming on it. So for us, it's contemplating the, you know, it's, it's justifying the cost um, and not worrying about how fun the machine is, you know. At the end of the day, it's a piece of equipment. That's what it is. I'm not, I'm not driving this thing to the mall or going out of town with it. You know what I mean? So it's a piece of equipment and that, that's, that's all it is. So it's, it's got to make sense to, uh, to use this thing, to pay for it, um, and it produce results. So, so far it has, and it's just a matter of working things the right way. You know, any new piece of equipment, you have to figure out the best way to use it. The way that uh, the guys were using it the last uh, day and a half wasn't nearly as efficient as spot dropping it um, like we did today. Um, that, that's the ticket. So spot dropping, loading that thing up with almost a yard of mulch, spot dropping that, you know, at freaking 25, 30 miles an hour, like around these big properties, um, it's awesome. So that's definitely the system that we're going to use. Um, and that's that. Anybody is, a, if any of you guys have ever used an Atlas to move around a lot of mulch and you've got any ideas, let me know. Um, a couple of guys on Instagram, though, did mention about, um, you know, carrying a trailer, a dump trailer, and all that stuff. And be, honestly, yeah, you can load all that and then move all that and then unload all that. I just find it kind of the, kind of the bunny webbit, you know, uh, deal loading that atlas up zipping around unloading it zipping back load you know wash rinse repeat man that seems to be the ticket um it'd be awesome to have two or three of these things oh my god hopefully one day life goals man but so far that on its own is pretty incredible all right guys i'm out